Hi guys, this is Quinn again from Mikey Graphics. So, recently I've been working on a project that's um, had some interesting little things occur in it. Uh, one of the things being is that we had to route a whole bunch of lines, but instead of routing them as per normal as we'd normally with our whole, you know, come out of tanks, etc., and then you can do your whole nice 90 degree pipe routing. They wanted us to do almost everything in exclusive 45s. The reason for this being is they were a bit concerned about the um, fluid because it was quite um, prone to clogging up the pipes, etc. Don't want to get too deep into it. And they wanted to try and lessen the resistance as much as possible. So what we had to do then is, as I just said, Put a whole bunch of 45s in. It would be equivalent to this. If I can get to the 45, uh, yes. The ortho mode, mode off may assist. Now, here comes the crux of the problem. It was all fun and dandy when we were first routing. Everything was working. But, here is the problem when we are trying to do elevations. With a straight nice section of pipe with 90 degrees, we can use our elevation grip and then just use tab to jump to our elevation and then we could change our elevation by just typing in an amount. If you've tried this when you've got 45s on and you try and elevate, as you've noticed, I cannot elevate this pipe. It just does not work. So, um, after a little bit of um, irritant with it, found out the easiest way to do this, although it is a little bit of a hack job, is select the elbows on the sides, one of the sides, hit delete the elbows. Now you've got a straight section of pipe. Once you've got this, now you can select your elevation marker jump to whichever um, section you need, either top of pipe, center of pipe, offset, whichever one, or even bottom of pipe. Here, let me put this to also 3000 and hit enter. Now you'll notice you've still got the same length of pipe. And if you were to try and route this, it's going to give you um, issues. Not anything bad, nothing you can't deal with, but straight off the bat, if you knew what you needed to do, it would make your life a little bit easier. What I normally do is I'll grab the one side, I put my ortho mode on in this case. You may also want to try and use your um, UCS to move yourself around and change your Zs so that makes your life a bit easier. But in a nutshell, all I'm doing is I'm just taking my pipe back a bit. What this now does is it allows me to use auto routing. So either I can grab the piece of pipe that was there and I can use the auto routing to auto route onto that piece of pipe. And as you can see, it gives us this ability. Sadly, it's a little bit of a long route and it does take a little bit of finicking, prodding it around to try and get it to work, or uh, well, should I say not work, but trying to get it to do it over and over again, especially if you've got multiple of these that um, you need to do. I've had entire vertical pipe racks that I had to do by 10 different lines on each single pipe rack. So trust me, I know your pain and I know this is not great. I am also going to put it on the idea station to hopefully um, that we can get something done about this. Well, that is basically it that I wanted to show you, apart from that if you can try and avoid this, it is going to make your life a bit problematic. So if you do see yes, or hear something about these, this 45 degree, realize the implications that this will bring to you. I really do hope that this has been a helpful video, um, most of a rant video, <laughs> but thank you very much. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Have a good one. Cheers, bye.